What's going on everybody? This is Dan at Echo Effects. Quick instructional video here. One of the easiest ways to use your email that's provided by Echo Effects, which is, you know, your your name at your domain.com, um, whatever it might be, is to actually use a Gmail account, um, almost like an Outlook account if you're familiar with Microsoft Outlook. Um, Gmail has a lot of the same features and functionality. It's completely free and you can add as many email addresses as you own to it. So um, what I want to do real quick is if you don't have a Gmail account, go ahead and create one. Very simple. Just go to uh, gmail.com. But I'm going to log in here. This is one of mine, Atlas Global Network at gmail.com. And what I'm going to do here is right over here, I'm going to click on settings. Or I'm sorry, on that cog wheel and then go down to settings. And that's going to open up all of your settings in here, and you're going to click on accounts. Now, you'll see down here, um, you can actually add another email address that you own, or add a POP3 account. It used to work flawlessly if you just threw it right here, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a POP3. So you're going to click on that, and it's going to ask for the email address that you want to add. And in this example, I'm just going to do example at echoeffects.com. We're going to click on next step and it's going to ask you for some settings here. So our username is example at echoeffects.com or whatever your email address is. Go ahead and put in your password. And then right here where it's asking for pop server, you have to change that. And where you can find that is actually on EchoEffects' website. Just click right here on email. And this video is on this page as well as some other ones. And then there's manual instructions down here. So under manual settings, you'll notice the incoming server and the outgoing server are identical. You're just going to copy that and right where it was asking for it, you're going to put that in there. Okay. And then we're going to leave a copy of the retrieve message on the server. Um, we're going to label the incoming messages from that email and we're going to click add account. Okay, it says you can now retrieve mail from this account. Would you also like to be able to send mail as example? Yes, I do. And you're going to see why. It's really cool. So you hit next step. And that's it. Okay. So we're going to close that. Okay, and then the only other thing we're going to do, we are going to go in here real quick, add another email address you own, throw it in, whatever you want it to be. The name is what people actually receive it from. So like when it pops in their inbox, it'll say Dan Pasqual, Mike Brown, whatever you send it as. So... Um, we're just going to add that up there, and the reason we're going to do that is because it's going to give us the functionality to be able to send, which you actually have to take the time and do this. Um, it's going to ask you to uh, verify it, so we're going to send it through Gmail, hit next step, and then we're going to hit send verification, and then it's actually going to send that verification to your email. So at this point, we're just going to log in directly to the email. I know this seems like a lot of steps. It's really not that bad. Um, you know, slow down, pause the video, go back, check it when you need to. Um, we're just going to go into Squirrel Mail. There it is, Gmail Team. We're going to copy this code they sent us here to prove that we own the account. Hit paste. Verify it. There you go, and now it, sent, it shows up right there. So check this out. What's going to happen is when you go and send an email, you're going to have this other line here that says from, okay, and it shows your main Gmail address. We're going to click, and we're going to select example at echo effects, and then that's where it's going to come from. Okay, so if we actually send it back to the same email, Atlas Global Network at gmail.com, hit send it's gonna pop in here there you go from Dandy Pasqual test and that's actually from that example at echo effects and when they reply it's gonna to go to example at echo effects okay so very very cool now if you get an email and somebody emailed you to your echo effects email or whatever your email is you will reply and it'll go directly from there okay so you don't have to worry about switching when you're replying then also inside your settings here with your Gmail account, um, go back into accounts here. 
you can actually make that as a default. If you're creating a Gmail account just to use, you know, basically as a platform for your email at yourdomain.com, you can actually go in here and make that your default. Okay, so then when you hit compose, you don't have to worry about selecting that other account. It'll just be there the whole time. So um, tons of other tutorials on Gmail, um, folders, calendars, signatures, the whole nine yards. You can just go to YouTube and Google it. Um, we might eventually have, um, you know, some instructional videos. But if you have any questions, uh, my direct email, if you want to send direct, directly to me, is dan at echoeffects.com. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.